final day and yes it's snowing <laughs> and look at that sky compare it to the last five days where it was crystal clear I mean look at that it's full isn't it I say this is the advanced stages of some snow they did warn but we didn't believe because they keep warning but it looks like this is the early stages and it could kick in if the them clouds stay like that so uh, we're leaving in about three hours time hopefully we can make it out but uh, yeah whoops you don't want to see that yeah <laughs> unbelievable it started about five o'clock I went out at five o'clock and it's like a mist I thought is it misting or is it snowing but I put my hand out I couldn't see anything touch my jacket was slightly damp but uh, as soon as, the, as soon as the light came as such, because it ain't very light even now. And I realised, yep, it's no. It could all clear again. It's a weird, weird place, Scotland. <laughs> you can prepare for Armageddon and what can happen is it, it can actually clear. It'll just be another bright sunny day, so. I haven't seen any latest updates, so I can't tell. Right, I'm getting in the ball. Right, 10.25, that's us done. Swept, gas connect, disconnected, wipe tops down, left, chop wood. Some little bit of coal, half a bag of dry wood. Some kindling, not much, but enough to get them started. Place is tidy, so that's us gone. Thank you, Hut, brilliant time. Lovely. Really appreciate it. Until next time. And I've left a note and a message that I'll be getting in contact with the hut custodian regarding the key issue. I won't go into things on that. Nice yeah. and safe. Fire's been cleaned out. Wind, uh, what's that? Chimney vein thing been closed. <laughs> I can't think of the word for it. And the snow is stopped, but it's cold and snowy. You can see the sky is full of it. But looks like it's going to ease off, so we're going to get out of jail. <laughs> Otherwise, we could get snowed in, couldn't we? Dogs will not start moaning. Can I kill one of them? You think anyone will mind? Don't want to go home, but I have to go home because I've run out of food and... Look at that poor pat. But it's such a great pat. <laughs> oh wait. You can actually strap your saw to the back. I never realised that. I still got a lot more tweaking it. The reason I got it is because it's like a multi-purpose pat for the military, so they're just gonna they attach everything to it and it's working. Look, my poles. On the other packs they always seem to stick out or prod out or something like that when it's fully loaded. Got bottles on. <laughs> I've got extra areas where I can strap things to on the back. Really good. And there's my rubbish. But I took a load of rubbish when I walked with my friend on the fourth day, so I knew I didn't have to take too much on the, on the final day. Shouldn't weigh too much. Perfectly, easy, perfectly uh, okay to get it back to a car park. I know the pack's heavy, but. That's why I want it for. I want it to be do everything. You know what I mean? So this is why I'm using it and testing it now, getting used to it. But strapping the the saw to the back and it's secure, it's not gonna slide. It's kind of really braced in, lovely. Right, enough equipment talking. Let's get on with it. That's our views as we're walking back. Take it nice steady, no rush, really. I thought I'd leave about 12, it's half past 10 as I say. So, I think today I'll hold off on the snow, but if there is some coming in this week, and it looks like it's on its way. 
We've had it perfect. We've had crystal clear days for searching. We've had uh, brilliant sunshine. Yes, it's been cold, but right now, this would be ridiculous to search in this kind of weather because look how white the land is. Everything's getting covered. So we were lucky. Plus, cutting wood, it's much easier when it's dry and uh, cold rather than snowy and wet. All oh, the wood's all coated. Uh, we had kindling, we had uh, plate of logs. They were reasonably dry. Well, and probably first inch, but once you start splitting them, dry them out, they soon dried out. But this weather will just make the cutting wood and everything pain in the backside. But I must admit, it is beautiful, isn't it? I could easily stay here for another week, I'm not moaning. <laughs> but uh, it's not to be. We've had our fun. Right, I better walk back, and I? So, I'll say my goodbyes here. Don't know where it'll be next time, I still haven't decided. I, I keep predicting and then I, it never turns out the way I predict. Um, I've got a couple of things in pipeline I say with other uh, missing persons, but we'll see how that goes. Um, so yes, thanks for watching. If you're in the area and you are hikers, Munroes or whatever, please help if you can, even if it's 10, 15 minutes here and there. Just stray off your way a little bit, you know what I mean? I'm not asking you to go out your way big time. It's for the family, it's for Neil's family, his friends, just for, they, for them to find closure. Uh, for all you Munroers, hikers, wild campers, please stay safe. Try and get a personal lo locator be beacon if you can. I know you've all been hiking 10, 20 years and you never needed one, but trust me, one day you might. Um, and that's about it. To my subscribers and the new subscribers, thank you very much. Thank you for the kind comments. I do appreciate them. And I'm not just saying that. In this case, I do really do appreciate them because, as I say, I'm doing this all voluntary. I'm doing this all off my back. And sometimes you do. I've never got to the point where I want to quit. But sometimes you think, am I stupid for doing this? And I know I'm not. But sometimes you just need that kind of reinforcement and uh, that uh, support. And, and it does help. It keeps you, pushes you along. I enjoyed a lovely, lovely few days. Enjoyed my time with my friend. That was brilliant. I'm looking forward to meeting him again and his friends. And uh, God knows where I'll be next. So, as I say, live the dream. Enjoy life. But stay safe. Thanks, everyone. Goodbye for now.